In Dragon Ball Super, there are incredible transformations out there like Orange Piccolo, the insane Black Frieza form, Ultra Instinct Goku, and especially the infamous Ultra Vegito, um, I mean Ultra Ego Vegeta transformation. We Saiyans evolved as a warrior race. We re Ultra Ego is a new transformation that Vegeta has acquired. This insane ability is powerful, although Vegeta hasn't mastered it yet. He learned this technique through Beerus, who told him that he needed to keep his mind focused on destruction to exploit this ability. Shout out to Geekdom101 in the video game Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for inspiring me to make this video. I watched this video after I finished mine actually, since I hate copying material from other content creators. And as usual, give me a like and subscribe as it hosts my channel. And now let's begin. Psychology behind Ultra Ego. So what is Ultra Ego based on? This ability is inspired by the terms in modern psychology called the ego and super ego. And of course, is based on Vegeta's true nature actually. The ego in psychology is an aspect of ourselves that most aren't aware of. It's the part of the mind that mediates between the conscious and the unconscious, and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. The ego is not a bad thing to have, as it's designed to protect our self-image, but unfortunately, most are unaware of their ego. And interestingly enough, for Ultra Ego to work, Vegeta has to tap into his ego more, becoming more self-centered against his opponents. This is a part of his path as a martial artist. The Super Ego and Vegeta's Guilty Conscience Yes, to utilize the God of Destruction power, Vegeta has to let go of any insecurities to fully activate the transformation. But unfortunately, he's being bogged down by his thoughts of shame and guilt. In psychology, the morality of a person is ruled by something called the Super Ego, the unconscious aspect of ourself that is congruent with our inner morals. Something Vegeta has contemplated on for many years actually. How could he let himself be beaten by men with such low fighting power? Vegeta used to murder whole civilizations of people for many years without breaking a sweat. Back then, he didn't care because it's something Saiyans did all the time. For the prince of all Saiyans, being respectful, honest, and kind is a sign of weakness, and being strong, powerful, and ruthless is the way of a true Saiyan. The thoughts of regret from his previous life is something that keeps him from reaching his full potential. Beerus had to tell Vegeta that destruction and death is simply a part of life and someone has to do it to bring balance to the universe. Understanding this helped Vegeta to tap into the Ultra Ego transformation, although this transformation still needs some work to be honest. Meditation and the Evolution of Vegeta Meditation is a powerful technique that trains your mind, making you more calm or peaceful. I've been practicing meditation for many years now, and at first I began to contemplate on the terrible things I've done to animals, family members, people I've made fun of, and really, the moments I have hurt others in general. And the same thing is happening to Vegeta. Yes, Vegeta is using meditation to strengthen his concentration or focus. Although, it seems that this technique is helping him to become more aware of his actions. And it shows. According to psychology, techniques like meditation dissipate the ego as it helps to turn off the part of the brain that worries about the past, future, and the endless list of threats to our sense of self. So overall, I'm wondering what direction they're going to take with Ultra Ego, because the transformation is all about him running wild with his overinflated ego and bloodlust, while meditation does the opposite. Maybe he's going to use his technique to find balance within, that's more harmonious in nature for his evolution. What's your favorite part of Ultra Ego Vegeta? Do you like it, or do you think it's trash? Let's talk about it below. Like and comment if you want more breakdowns of Ultra Instinct or Ultra Ego. This is June and check out this playlist right here for more content. I'm out and peace.